Hello and welcome to Budget Fishing again. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about the 282 piece tackle sets you can get off of Amazon. Um, I briefly mentioned in one of my previous videos about uh, a complete rod uh, and tackle setup. Um, you might be looking for more end tackle uh, and stumbled across these on your uh, searches on Amazon, eBay and so, so forth. Um, I'm going to talk to you about these, uh, there'll be a couple of screenshots come up in a minute showing you what I'm on about and show you whether I think they're worth the money or not. So as you've seen there, there was uh, well, there's a lot of pieces of uh, equipment in that uh, little box. Um, I will show you what they look like now in the actual flesh and um, yeah, show you what I think is worth having, whether it's worth spending the 12 quid on it or not, um, and if you should go and get some higher end tackle uh, and so forth. So here's a look at the one that I've got. So as you can see, it comes in this lovely little carry case. Um, it's no bigger than the palm of your hand, despite what you the pictures make it look like. Uh, that is the size of it. Um, comes with a nice little green lanyard as well that clips to the case, so you can uh, hopefully not lose it. Open it up, nice quick release system. Uh, you'll see there's various little compartments inside. Now, as you've seen in the picture, you've seen what was in there. Um, we've got uh, boilie stops, various beads um, here. We've got hook sleeves, um, bait screws in there as well. Um, as well as the screw stops for your hooks. We've got anti-tangle sleeves in here. We've got uh, two lots of two meters of tubing. Um, we've got a couple of hook, uh, some hooks in there. We've got quick release um, weight uh, sliders for your line. We've got swivels in this one. We've got quick release swivels there. Um, a few more uh, stops for your weight uh, clips, uh, some more hooks and some fake sweet corn. So as you've seen there, plenty of bits and a nice little carry case that uh, it all comes with. But the main question I suppose, is it worth 12, 13 quid? The answer to me, I would say yes. Is all of it very good? No, the fake sweet corn will be going in the bin as soon as I get home. Um, the boilie stop is a boilie stop is a boilie stop. Um, it's not anything so you can get some extra depth on um, extra length on the hairs that you use. They are purely flat uh, boilie stops, but they're not a bad thing to have. The anti tangle sleeves, it's an anti tangle sleeve. Yep, can't complain on them. Swivels is a, as far as I'm aware, uh, concerned, a swivel is a swivel. Um, can't complain about them. The quick release links. Um, I'm using them on all of my lines at the moment. Uh, I've not had any issues with anything that I've caught with um, them breaking or anything along those lines. Um, the lead clips, uh, I've been using them non-stop. Uh, apart from casting and hitting a tree and having to try and retrieve my weight, they've done their job, they dropped the weight, um, and none of them have broken either, so no complaints on that. The hooks, I, I personally would spend a little bit of money on some better hooks. They'll do the job. The kits say barbless, they're actually micro barbed, um, so just be aware of that depending on what fishery you're um, going to. The uh, beads, they, they are what they are, they, they are a bead. Um, but the bait screws, I would say, are the ones you probably want to invest in. They are uh, small plastic ones, as you've probably seen. I suppose you are getting what you pay for there. They will hold a bait on, uh, that's not too much of an issue, and they will screw the bait on. However, because they are plastic and quite thin plastic, they will twist as you uh, screw your bait on. So they will weaken um, within a couple of uh, bait, uh, screw and a couple of boilies on. Um, I suppose that is, that's, that's what it is. Um, would I buy it again? Yes, because the, the price of a pack of swivels and uh, the anti-tangle sleeves and everything like that is probably outweighed when you buy this little kit. Um, but like I say, there are bits in there that I would uh, not utilise and uh, spend a little bit of money on. Mainly the hooks. Um, if you're using fake baits, get some better ones because these ones do look as cheap as cheap can be. Um, and But yeah, apart from that, I don't think it's too bad value for money. Um, and I probably will purchase again as and when I need to. Um, Nice short video this time. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, leave any comments if there's anything that you've seen that you're not too sure on uh, that you would like to see reviewed. Then please, like I say, let me know, and um, I will hopefully.
get plenty of comments from you soon and uh, put more videos up as and when. Cheers, bye bye.